So the most shocking fact about prostate cancer is that for a huge number of men diagnosed with it, the best evidence-based life-saving treatment is to do absolutely nothing. So we are so good at screening for prostate cancer with the PSA, prostate-specific antigen test, that we find a huge number of indolent, low-grand cancers. These are not aggressive tigers. They are slow-growing turtles or pussycats that would never have caused the man any harm or shortened his life. Autopsy studies of elderly men who died of other causes consistently show that the majority have prostate cancer. They never knew about it. The leads, this leads to the concept of active surveillance, a form of watchful waiting. Instead of rushing to aggressive treatments like, you know, surgery, prostatectomy or radiation, which have a very high risk of causing permanent impotence and incontinence. The doctor tells the patient, you have cancer and we are going to treat it by watching that, but watching it. So the patient is monitored with a regular, a regular PSA tests, may make uh, exams and occasional biopsies. It depends. So it uh, defies everything we are taught about, about cancer. So the word cancer triggers a deep-seated fear and an immediate impulse to get it out of any coast. So the idea of calmly coexisting with a, no, with a known cancer is a massive psychological and if you want, this, um, philosophical hurdle for both patients and doctors. So the cure is often worse than the, the, the disease. For low-grade, non-threatening cancer, the life-altering side effects of treatment, losing sexual uh, function and bladder control, are a guaranteed harm, while the disease itself posted no, uh, threat, uh, no threat. The treatment becomes the source of suffering. It redefines a case of cancer, you know. It uh, forces to ask a difficult question. If a cancer was never going to cause harm, was it really a disease that needed finding in the first place? This is the core of the controversy about PSA screening. It leads to the overdiagnosis of harmless cancers, which in turn leads to the overtreatment of men who were never in danger.